I could sense the urgency in his voice when Uncle Joe called, so I got over to his place as fast as I could. I found him and my cousin, Dutch, talking in the backyard. I was uncomfortable because Dutch and I had never gotten along. But I had gone there to see Uncle Joe, so I sat there and listened. It was almost two years ago. I was considered the enemy. And if they'd have gotten their hands on me, they'd have probably killed me. So I ended up running for my fucking wife. I had no choice. I buried the diamonds deep in that miserable jungle. I'm not sure anyone knew I really had them. But I couldn't take any chances. I figured today maybe those diamonds are worth two million dollars on the open market. But all this, this good living is, is, is taking its toll. I'm no kid anymore. You guys are still young. I'm getting too old to try to go down there and tromp through that stinking hello. I've made a couple of detailed maps to where I put the diamonds. That should give you some information. It's not going to be any fucking picnic. In fact, it's going to be hell on earth. Come on, Dad. Are you sure you're not just living in the past? Coming up with another one of your adventure stories? No, no, goddammit. I, I guess it's too much to expect you to believe me. So why are you telling me all this? Dutch here, he's your son. Because he thinks I'm an asshole. Dutch, it's no secret. You and I have never seen eye to eye on anything. I'm telling you guys because I want you to do something I can't do anymore. And that's go down there and get those fucking diamonds. Maybe this experience is just what it takes to teach you what being a man is all about instead of some asshole running around trying to prove how macho you can be. Jeff, this is a big opportunity for you to make a future for yourself. You believe me, don't you? Yeah, I think so. You've never lied to me before. You guys take these two maps. No one knows a fucking thing about them, so keep your mouth shut. This may be an opportunity for you two to learn how to live together as friends. But whatever happens, I wish both of you the best of luck. And remember, if it comes down to the bottom line, may the best man win. Uncle Joe had laid it out pure and simple. A challenge filled with...